All right, SAT score, here's your game. I don't know if you're here or not. I pinged you on Discord. But he is in the Johan de Witt. We often called it, I used to call it the Johan de Whale because it was one of the tier nine early access ships that you had to whale out to get to. Um, not too bad of a ship, but uh, you know, she's got, she's got pretty big guns for her tier. Um, so that's kind of sexy. She's got, of course, the Dutch airstrike. She brings with her, uh, as you can see, a heel. Um, pretty, pretty darn good anti-air and uh, hydro acoustic search. As Chief Engineman, hello, Chief Engineman, raiding with a party thirty-seven. Thank you so much, dude. Good to see you. I hope you had a good stream. Um, Kitten, go ahead and shout uh, him out, of course. If you guys don't know Chief Engineman, uh, go ahead and click the link in chat there. Toss him a follow. Uh, welcome aboard guys. We just finished our fifth race. We have five more races to go to give away a premium ship of your choice um, Via doubloon value all you have to do is stick around be a follower and uh, type in exclamation point play when we do our races So there you go chief. I hope you had a good stream Yeah, but now I've got to find someone else to play stream raiders with since he went offline Aww. Rude. Uh, for those of you guys who were following him for Stream Raiders, I do have Stream Raiders going up on my channel, so you are more than welcome to come and help me out. Uh, very much appreciate it. It's been a while since I've uh, since I've been in Stream Raiders and stuff, so it would be good to uh, get that going again. And uh, just one sec here. Good. I have to get the other game going that uh, that shall not be mentioned. All right, um, anyways. That's how much addicted I am, as Kitten knows. What the deal with audio in-game cutting out? Is there a workaround? I have no idea. I never knew that that was an, an issue. Now, I want to highlight for a second, uh, SAT is using a zoom out mod, uh, so that's why the, the ship looks a little bit farther back than it normally would be. Um, but that being said, it, you know, um, that can help you, it can also hurt you. I stopped using a zoom out mod for a while I ran it and um, I decided to get rid of it because I didn't feel like it was uh, helping enough. Awesome day. Have to run busy afternoon, no worries dude. Take care, thank you for trusting me with your peeps. Uh, we will all take very good care of them. For those of you guys new to the channel, this is uh, pretty much a, a very low salt, very chill stream where we look at replays and we give feedback and we also discuss what people are doing right, people are doing wrong, um, and that helps. Yes, Field of View is in the game now. That's that's true, Badfish. I forgot about that. You could change that, yeah. Uh, Kitten, do we have any giveaways going right now? Of course we do. What do we got? No. We've got codes times three winners. Three what codes? What kind of codes? Whatever I decide to give them. Ah, uh, okay. Whoever messages me first with the winners gets gets a CC container. Actually, mm -hmm. whoever no whoever messages me first gets a, a Black Friday container. Got it. Um, whoever gets me second gets a CC container. Third gets set camera print. Got it. All right. So you gotta be Johnny on the spot if you if uh, when uh, kitten uh, pulls her winners, you want to make sure that you type exclamation point ticket into the chat, and you have to be a follower in order to win. So, Mama Meadow follow. Thank you very much, Mama Meadow. And Uncle Obishan and Alex, thank you very much for the follow as well. Fun name. Why are people whispering me? I haven't even told the giveaways. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta be selected to win first, guys. <laughs> Just keep whispering to her, guys. Um, yes, Big O. The idea about these um, Dutch cruisers is it's all there to, to take care of static ships, ships that are sitting still. Um, earlier, I didn't mention it, um, but earlier SAT had a good chance of AP against a, I think it was a Yoshino. And what was the other one? The Alaska. Uh, but he held his shot, waiting for a destroyer to show up, and then he just nailed it with four... Uh, HE hits. So not a bad decision to wait for a little bit. Oh, Mini Hannibal's in this game, too. I should send him a message as well.
SAT is not able to watch the stream. No worries, SAT. Thank you for supporting me anyways. He's one of the awesome people that was still subscribed to my channel, even though I was offline and not creating content. It really means a lot. Um, actually brought me to tears when I came back and, and saw that there were people that were still subbed and everything. So really appreciate that. Cheers to you and everybody else who is still subbed. Solution for static ships, destroyers, CVs, HE spam subs. That's right, Ace. How do you see the other ship class win in game? Buzz, what do you mean by other ship class? HE against an Alaska makes perfect sense here. This is very, very dangerous. A is being capped uh, by a Marceau. So you need to find an opportunity to get turned out here. You're going to take that opportunity now. I think he means how you have it set it up where it's the ships on, on both sides of the screen. Yeah, this is, this is, whoops. Um, I hit the wrong button, lol. Uh, over here on the side, these are team panel mods. And then there, um, that, that you can put in the, the, the default client. And then on top of that, I've got a mod that pulls these up and it shows me all the ships that are in the game and their health. Um, on top of the ships. Oh, up here. These are, these are over target markers. And normally they show if you hit the alt key. Um, but if you go to settings, you can do this right now, go to controls and right here, alternate interface, you set it to full. It will always show all of the classes of ships and their health and stuff like that. If you set it to adaptive, it will always show to whatever you're targeting. If you turn it off, you have to hit the alt key for it to show all that. Mod shared. It's in Aslanes. It's, uh, God, one of a thousand mods that I run, unfortunately, and I need to update that list. Um, so we'll get that at some point, but, uh, yeah, it's one of the, it's one of the, the team panel mods or whatever. Now, SAT is coming back in. I think he sees the, the gearing and he figures it's safe to go back in and together you guys can nail the Marceau. Marceau is smartly playing at range. Um, and then I saw there was a cover of my replay from Desta, your Prince Idol Friedrich game. So let me see if I have it. I do. Okay. I got it. Um, I need to run it through my render program here. All right. Uh, for those of you guys who are new to the, the group... Uh, I do have a Discord server going where you can submit your replays. Um, I also have a uh, channel where you can render your replays and see those that quick top-down uh, video of what happened with the battle. So feel free to check that out if you want. My link is in the chat for the Discord. Marceau stopping. He's doing a nice job of really juking shells, although that might hurt. That could have been a lot worse. You can see SAT is now in a kiting away position. He's prepared for basically the enemy team to push. You see the gearing has already noped away. Priority sector now on the Kaga's torpedo bombers. Remember, this ship's got pretty good anti-air and the Kaga's got paper planes. Give me a ship on... Yes, I did give you a ship on the Discord. I... Uh, because I hadn't been streaming for a while, I actually did a, a number of giveaways uh, for people that were on my Discord. And I'm still probably going to do that because i got a giant backlog of codes. So, Yank Jaeger, that means you already are entered in the giveaway. Excelente. Marceau playing very, very far away. So that's going to give SAT a chance to come back around. Note that your team's doing quite well so far. Just trying to rig it. Got it. Um, your mini Hannibal buddy is not doing too well. 
But he's in a British battle cruiser, so he's got the super heal. Should be fine. Nice hit there on the Marceau. Pretty solid hit. Unfortunately, your gearing is, um, well, getting himself wrecked. And there's a Fletcher that's nearby, too. We haven't seen the Fletcher in a while. Why is your gearing still spotted? Question marks. I have so many questions! Now, single fire here. You don't... I wouldn't double click. I would single fire to make sure that your uh, shell's hit. Doesn't matter. He burnt out anyway. What's my opinion on St. Vincent? Just played it. Uh, first game recently feels very strong. It is very strong, Ace. You saw it in King of the Sea. It was probably the most played battleship. It's a ridiculously strong ship. It's got the super heal. It's got really good guns. It's got torpedoes. Or single torpedo. So, uh, and she's fast. So there's a lot going for her. Maybe two bit over the top? Probably. Uh, Wargaming tends to nerf ships that overperform, especially ships that are extremely popular in King of the Sea. So I wouldn't be surprised to see a nerf inbound on that. Now you could use your um, defensive fire here, anti-air, whatever it's called, uh, consumable. You're choosing not to because it's Kaga dive bombers. And they don't do too much damage. As you can see, they did send him on fire. As a Dutch cruiser, super cruiser, he's got the extended fire duration. But SAT is choosing to save that consumable for a torpedo bomber drop, which you could do. Personally, I probably would have used it uh, anyways. We're close to the end of the match. Uh, so chances are he's not going to drop on you again anyways. And even if he does uh, drop on you here and you use your consumable, you'll have another consumable available soon after. So there you go. Paramo, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Hope you're enjoying what you are seeing. As we talk through um, uh, this particular battle, you are not defensive firing here. See, if you didn't defensive fire for the dive bombers, I think you really should have defensive fired for those torpedo bombers. Because at this point, Kaga is going to be getting quite low on planes. It's too powerful and cost with balance and randoms. They will just limit numbers of it to knock it out cots. They, they, they could do that. That's that's very true, Cthulhu. There's your defensive fire now. Watch the planes melt. This is one of the one of the buttes of this ship. Look at look at all those planes going. Imagine if you had done that on the first dive bomber drop. How many more planes and XP you would have earned? Now, SAT score is very good at farming XP, for those of you guys who don't know. So I'm surprised, like I said, I'm surprised you didn't do it firsthand. But now you might actually get a double out of this. Yes, you do. He comes back with another squadron. And because your defensive fire is still going, look at how many planes you're just eating up here. With priority sector going, he's not even going to drop on you. Beautiful. Ah, Buzzwrath. Yes. Setting to show. Here you go. Uh, in the game, hit escape. Go to settings. Go to controls. And then down here, alternative interface mode. You set this to full. Right here. Set this to full. Okay. There you go. It's very helpful. I find it very helpful. Um, just to be able to look at it at a glance and see how people are doing. SAT, by the way, have you noticed he's not shooting the Kaga? He's doing that for a reason, folks. He's doing that because he wants to farm these planes. The planes are worth a lot of XP. Worth more XP than the carrier itself, assuming you get a whole bunch of plane kills, which, I mean, come on, Johan de Whale, that's exactly what it does. So he doesn't care about killing the carrier. He's going to wait until the carrier is almost dead to shoot it. Because he wants to snipe the kill. The kill is worth... What is it, 10% or is it 25% the value of the of the plane of the the ship? So he's just farming planes right now. 25%. Thank you. AA sector first or defensive fire. Uh Tiger, I don't know that it really matters. I like to hit the consumable first and then do it afterwards. Look at that, you Dutch oven the Kaga. You you freaking Dutch oven the Kaga. Yes, farm the planes, Buzz. If you can, farm the planes, 100%. Because in doing so, 
uh, you get a lot more XP than just killing the carrier. It's one thing I think a lot of people don't realize. So let's get the Johan de Whale game up. And here is our render of that battle. Planes are kills every 30 planes. That sounds about right, Vladeshi. Vladeshi says 10% and Duckman says 25% for the kill itself. Either way, it's a sizable chunk of XP. So you wait until the ship is almost dead and then you just finish it. And that's exactly what SAT did. Defensive fire just outside the range circle, then sector immediately inside, says Duckman's. There you go. Either way, you saw the value in waiting for uh, those planes. Now, I don't have the end result screen. I don't collect those on my Discord because I don't want to know what to expect uh, the results to be, but you get the idea. Uh, he gets a lot more base XP by farming it there. So you can see early on, putting himself in position to do work at, at the alpha cap. Very fortunate that the battleships noped out of there, uh, especially that Republic. Gives him the ability to just farm that Marceau. And you can see how he keeps going bow away, bow in, um, because he's reacting to the situation and what's happening there. He knows the gearing's going to come in, the gearing's going to spot for him. And because the gearing's going to spot for him, that gets him in a position uh, to punish the Marceau when the gearing spots that destroyer. Sector is instant damage if the squadron's inside the circle. Right. So defensive fire on and then the instant damage. Marceau did a nice job. Yes. <laughs> Probably upset the cruiser could just stand and kill him. That's true, Iron Meals, but hey, that, that is the way it is. So, um, and Marceau did a nice job of really just staying slippery. He really did. And he also, I mean, he got the kill in the gearing. Marceau played that game extremely well. Unfortunately, it just didn't work out for him. Fletcher's going to go down here as well. There he goes. Uh, SAT has his hydro on, so he's able to detect the torpedoes. I'm going to drop my camera so you can see the Kaga moving farther away. So like I said, the only real the only real thing I would have changed is I would have used that defensive fire consumable earlier uh, with that full squadron of dive bombers coming in. That's the only change I probably would have made. Otherwise, that's it. Kaga is trying to go out there, and we're about to see him get Dutch ovened. Here, let's drop the Stevie cam for a second. We'll see him get Dutch ovened. Right there. Whack. Remember, Kaga has a uh, pretty low armor on its deck, so those bombs will definitely pen it, and it's got a very large area uh, with which it can be bombed. So nicely done there, um, SAT squad.